What's going on guys? My name is James Connects and if you're finding me for the first time, um, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. In this particular video, we are going to go through a few items that I sold in the month of May. Uh, not necessarily the, the biggest items, uh, the most profitable items. It's just 10 items that I, I quite enjoyed and I'm going to tell you about what I did in regards to selling them. So first up, we have Jesse and Bullseye. Now I wasn't expecting um, to to sell this as quickly as I did. Uh, these two items did cost me four pound forty eight, which is quite a lot. Uh, this was from a local charity shop, which is on the high end when it comes to uh, on to toys, I'm afraid. But as you can see, Jesse is missing her boots and her hat. However, it did sell. It sold quite quickly, and I took some really stupid pictures. In the next one, you're going to see Jesse riding backwards. Oh no, no, she's she's standing up first, then she's riding backwards, and then I believe she does a handstand. She does a handstand on Bullseye. So, yeah, pictures. Um, I do need to get a larger area with a white backdrop, and um, my little light box is is little. I mean, that is it. So I want to make a larger area in my conservatory where I can do pictures for slightly bigger items. But sold this guy, well, this guy and girl for $24.99. It owed me £4.48 uh, in costage of the actual item itself. After fees and uh, other fees, other fees? After postage and other fees, uh, made just under £13 this particular item. So it's bread and butter stuff. Toy Story stuff will always sell if you can get it at the right price. Next up is a Minecraft Creeper and Pig. Now, I think I took a best offer on this. I don't think I got the £20 for it. I'm fairly sure it was 15 uh, But anyway, after uh, fees, postage, etc., made just over £10, which I think for, for two plushes isn't bad. I think what I'm going to aim for next time is getting a huge set of maybe half a dozen different ones and then go for a slightly higher price and you can tell from the pictures that this is i believe pictures taken from december because that is so that just there is a star wars lego calendar so this must be from early to mid december uh, pictures of the labels which is standard and then that was it so £10 made on that one, not the best, but certainly not the worst. Next up is possibly one of my favourite items I have picked up, simply because I am a fan of Harry Potter. It is the Book of Monsters. Uh, this was tested as, sorry, this was sold as not working. I couldn't get it to unlock, no matter what I tried in regards to resetting uh, the spine password, it just would not reset itself. So I put that in the description. Um, and it still sold relatively quickly. For some reason, I took pictures on my kitchen floor. But yeah, nice, nice little item. Sold for $24.99. Uh, the book itself cost me £2.49. I actually think I let this go for 20 And uh, profits after everything were sitting just under £15. Next up, which is an item which I sent to auction, is crossbows and catapults a uh, seven day auction started on a sunday end on a sunday obviously because it's seven days uh, start at 99p always do and then i do the postage on top uh, i normally do the postage at four pound fifty which i believe after fees alone and the actual cost of postage leaves me around 30 pence for packing material which is normally about right uh, bubble wrap does not cost a lot if you know where to get it um, same with the uh, the packing peanuts as well. If you buy that in in the big sack, which is like seven foot tall, it works out to be pennies. So this guy, I think, went for twenty odd pound, twenty six pound ninety plus postage. So we actually made just over twenty pound this item after fees and everything else. So you can see there's the two catapults there, and there's all the discs that I I had, the castles, castles, and the broken. Uh, is it ballista? Ballistic? I don't know why, but for some reason, my my eBay app likes to completely distort the pictures after I take them. I, I could have sworn that was actually clear when I took the picture. 
So, sorry, where was I going? £20 uh, cleared on that one. Next up is the Hitchhiker's Guide on tape. Now, this was, I think, last year. Um, I'm fairly sure after fees, postage, etc., I made £12, £13 on this. So it just took standard pictures. There's not really a great deal you can do with this. You can see there's a scuff mark there, so I've got included that on the uh, on the pictures. And that is it. Not a great deal. So that was £20 including postage. Nice, easy sell. Does not take up a lot of room. So I was quite happy to have that just sort of sitting in storage because it is literally like that big and then that's it. Next up, again, oh, this was a good item. This sold quite quickly. This sold within 12 hours. Uh, as soon as I listed it, uh, I think within an hour, I had an offer for £10 including delivery. I uh, refused it and as a message, I put li I've i literally just listed this. There's no others for sale in the UK. For the time being, I'm going to stick to my guns uh, as £14.99. Uh, woke up the next morning. Um, I, I think the guy purchased it about 6 in the morning. And the guy left feedback straight away. It went to London. Um, this actually is from Pirates of the Caribbean. So I'd imagine cosplay wise, uh, yeah, that's probably what it's been used for. You can see Costella, made in Spain, by Gona. And yeah, it's as simple as that. As you can see, I'm really struggling with that light box. It's just not big enough. Anything of any real size is just, you can see the edges of the light box. So my goal of this summer is to clear out as much of the conservatory as possible and actually uh, and make a setup in there. Next up, we have an auction item uh, set on a seven day auction. Again, uh, start on the Sunday and end on the Sunday. This lot only costed me three pounds, I think. And it actually ended up selling for 19 pound plus postage. So I could have gone through and cleaned these and sold them individually. However, I don't want to damage them uh, because they are such a collectible item. I don't want to risk damaging and basically causing sort of these things here to flake off and to peel away but they they went quite quickly the bids got up to around 15 pound quite quickly and then it, it sort of slowly started to, to increase from there but for a three pound investment and to save me from having to sit on it and to, to go through it all I'm more than happy just to send it on an auction if I know I'm definitely going to make money on it it's going in an auction because it saves me having to sit on it Next up, oh, hang on, what did I make? Uh, ponies. Made just over £12 on that one. Pictures of the ponies. Uh, and I think this one down here is a fake one. But they uh, they didn't really seem to be too fussed by that. Uh, positive feedback has been received, so that's absolutely fine. Next up is a surprise item. Uh, the French chess set, which a part of me did want to keep. However, I want to keep the Looney Tunes ones more than this set. So this ended up going on a seven day auction again. It owed me two pound. It went for, I think, 33, 33 pound plus postage. It actually went back to France. So as you can see, the figures, I had to have the figures as the, the main photo for this thing because they do look that good. And a picture of some more figures, picture of the rule book and the back of the rule book and the pieces inside the box. And then there's the board and there's no more pictures. There should have been two more pictures on that. There should have been a picture of it boxed and a picture of the of the chessboard actually open. I think I'm having some issues with eBay at the moment. See without all my internet, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look into that. But after fees, postage and everything else, uh, made £25. Although I allowed uh, 3 95 postage because it went to eBay's shipping program, uh, basically saved a quid on that. So that's not bad going. Next up is an item that I bought from Helen and Douglas House. Was it earlier this year or last year? Not quite sure, but these basically cost me a quid each. There were eight of them in total, and these all went to one person. Um, she sent me a message asking what I would do for the lot. Um, I think we were originally looking at £20, which... I just was not going to do. Uh, so I decided to go halfway at £40. And she's quite happy. She's left feedback. Um, I think she is a collector. But she has eight of these adorable little 
doggy plushies. These were so soft to the touch. Um, I can't describe how soft they were. But all went to one lady. Um, I got them in the smallest box possible, which is what she asked for. But yeah, it was nice and easy. £3.95 in postage, uh, minus the cost of the original item. Left me with about £22 uh, in profit. So it, it's uh, freed up a large amount of space in the soft toy box anyway. And last but not least is a Disney Infinity set. Now I bought uh, £10 worth of figurines earlier this year. So obviously split them into two. There was a Star Wars bundle and there was a Marvel bundle. Now this one I did, I'm fairly sure I had this on for about $54.99 uh, because of, of Infinity War. I, I thought there'd be a high demand for it. However, that wasn't quite the case. So I think I accepted £35 best offer, including the postage. But this is why I like my light box. If you can fit the items in, they take fantastic pictures. Here we have Hulkbuster looking absolutely badass. Then we'll see the back of Hulkbuster. Absolutely love it. I have got one myself. And yeah, it's a wicked little figure. Next up is Captain America, I think. There we go. Captain America, Steve Rogers, Ant-Man, Ultron himself, and Vision. And then that fisty thing. Uh, so yeah, after fees, cost of the original item, etc., made about £25 in this item so that was it that that's it there wasn't much else that I can tell you guys about uh, it wasn't the best month uh, I think last month was was way better but I think that was the maybe the Warhammer lot um, I know currently I think it ends today that uh, eBay are doing a deal where if you put a code in you get 20% off however eBay seems to be really really bad at getting that message across to ebay users if i'd have known that this was coming i probably could have waited out and bought a whole load of boxes however my paypal money is is slim at the moment and i'm down to around 10 pound floating there at the moment so yeah keep on reinvesting which is a bad thing i need to slow down stop buying and just and let the, the profits build up a bit but that's boring but that is it that's that's maze done nothing too spectacular i'm afraid I don't really want to end on such a rubbish picture. We'll go with Hulkbuster because he's amazing. So that is it for me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.